Joe Kuzarczyk, former director of the Office of Surface Mining Reclamation Enforcement. I'm at Solomon Creek, which has the Solomon boreholes in Hanover Township, Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. Back in 1972, Hurricane Agnes blew into Pennsylvania and caused massive flooding in this particular area. That flooding and all that rain filled up the abandoned coal mines. The coal mines at the bottom like a bathtub. And as all that water went into it, it was flooding up and discharging into people's basements. The state was concerned that there would be a blowout that might kill people as well as all the property damage that was occurring. So this was prior to there being a federal smacker law. And so Pennsylvania came in, drilled three boreholes in Solomon Creek to relieve that pressure to protect the people up uh, in their homes. These boreholes have been measured to discharge mine drainage that flows out from 12,000 gallons per minute up to 30,000 gallons per minute. It is heavily laden with iron. That iron precipitates out on the bottom of the stream, which is why it is orange. All that orange sediment is, has the stream smothered. The stream is dead from here, three miles down to where it flows into the Susquehanna River. The sediment that doesn't deposit or gets washed out here flows down into the Chesapeake Bay, this iron sediment. Upstream, where you don't have all this mine drainage going into it, Solomon uh, Creek is a high quality fishery. It's got wild trout populations in it. This is why we need the AML fund to be reauthorized. Another issue that we have here at the Solomon Creek boreholes is the water and the mines are discharging high levels of hydrogen sulfide. If you want to know what hydrogen sulfide smells like, it smells like rotten eggs. There is so much coming out of here, you can smell it a, uh, a quarter of a mile away. In fact, it's been described as a mushroom cloud of hydrogen sulfide that's about a quarter mile in diameter, and who knows how high up it goes that stinks up this whole particular area. We need to fix this problem. This is why we need the AML fund to be reauthorized. It is also why we need more resources throughout coal country to take care of these problems in order to restore the environment, to restore the community, to create economic opportunities, recreation opportunities, and fishing opportunities throughout the country. The AML funding is scheduled to end. Congressional action could extend funding through 2036. If funding is renewed, jobs will be saved, communities will be lifted out of poverty, and all of the economic benefits of our other videos will be realized, not just in Pennsylvania, but across the United States.